everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and we've talked before about summer is here, school's out, but it's also the time for listing because it seems like lately that has kept you pretty busy. It has. Everybody is listing right now. It's kind of the season for listing, the spring into the summer. So if this is the time that you're considering putting your house on the market, it is the perfect time to do that. And like you said, this morning I've listed two houses that we aren't showing today because they're too new and that mm -hmm. we'll have on the next show, but it's definitely keeping all of us realtors busy. But think about it, if it's the time to list, that means it's the time to buy. Exactly. Because you have a lot more options right now. Exactly. And we are in a little bit of a buyer's market right now, which is different than a lot of people in this area are used mm -hmm. to. And I'll go into that a little bit in the Real Estate Minute. Okay. Well, first, before we get that far, let's talk about five listings that you guys have for sale. And the first, we'll start in Johnson County. Mm -hmm. This first one is at 714 Court Street, which if you're familiar with Paintsville, mm -hmm. that is right downtown. You're very close to Our Lady of the Mountain School, right there at the Methodist Church, Paintsville Elementary. You're right in that area. But you're up on the hill a little bit, mm -hmm. so you won't turn toward downtown. You'll kind of turn toward the mountain and you're up on that hill, so you're gonna get the privacy, but yet you're still within walking distance of everything downtown has to offer. This one actually sits on almost three and a half acres. And then you can see in the pictures, we made sure to show how much privacy that you get with this property. So downtown living with privacy, it's a great mix. And you can see in the pictures, um, the back picture, it actually has a sunroom on the back. You've got the pool, you've got the patio, you've got a three car garage. So it really takes um, a lot of use. It, it really makes good use of all that space. And then we mentioned that you're on a little bit of a hill. Mm -hmm. um, so they went ahead and took care of anything that winter throws at you with a <laughs> heated driveway. Isn't that nice? <laughs> It'd be super yes, convenient. <laughs> a heated driveway. So. Everything on the outside, you know, the winter time, you've got the heated driveway. In the summertime, mm -hmm. you've got that in-ground pool. On the inside, big rooms, great house for entertaining. And in that living room picture, I like because it shows those big wooden beams. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that lodge type feel. Uh, and you feel like you are way far outside anything where you would be at downtown. Exactly. But you are in downtown. Exactly. And I like... I like the ceiling, but I also like all the windows. Yes. So you've got that big high ceiling, but then you've also got all that natural light. This is definitely one I think a lot of people will want to see. Lynn, it's priced at three nineteen nine. So downtown Paintsville, three and a half acres, in ground pool, heated driveway. Mm -hmm. That is not a bad price. It is not a bad price. And this is actually Tom Deskin's listing. He's okay. out of the Paintsville office. And I'm gonna give you his cell phone number. It is 606-793-0609. Now, moving on, we'll stay in the Paintsville office area, but let's give Patty Hatfield one of hers. Mm -hmm. We are gonna go actually towards Floyd County just a mm -hmm. little bit. And this one is located in Dima. Now this is one that you are, you get that country feel, but mm -hmm. you're not far off of Route 80. So you go out past Martin toward Garrett, and then you'll take that exit, get on Route 7, and this house is right there. Exactly. So you're right off Route 7, and this is at 45 Whispering Pine Road, mm -hmm. and you actually can put that in GPS, which isn't always accurate in Eastern Kentucky, but it will get you to this property. Now I like this one because from the outside you can't tell, but it's actually a double wide, but mm -hmm. it is a 2,400 square foot double wide. That's huge. Yes, it is a very large house and in that 2,400 square feet that gives you room for four bedrooms, two bathrooms. It also has um, a two-sided gas fireplace between the living and dining room, wow. which you want to talk about something that's really cool for entertaining or family get-togethers. That's really something that you can kind of center everything around. And then I love the picture of the kitchen just because it shows how large it is. You've got that big island in the middle with bar area, so you've got additional mm -hmm. seating space. Again, if you're entertaining or having family over, it's going to be great space. And then you've got a front porch and everybody likes that, but this is a huge front porch. It's 48 <laughs> feet and eight feet deep. Yeah, exactly. And you know what that porch reminds me of is the front of Cracker Barrel where you just have all ah. the rocking chairs lined up. That's the porch that you can get. Uh, but yeah, three car attached carport. So this has a lot of extras and it's on three quarters of an acre. So mm -hmm. you have a big yard too. Yeah, you have a large yard, and like you said, you've got the carport, and this has additional three storage buildings, so if you need a storage space, if you need a workshop, anything like that, you've also got space. 
And this is a, a great area of Floyd County. It's on the northern part of Floyd County, mm -hmm. near McGoffin County. Um, but it's, it's that rolling hills type of area. And then, then you're not far off of Route 80. So yeah. you're not far off the four lane at all, but yet you get that feel that you're out in the middle of farm country. Yes, exactly. So you get that convenience and the privacy again. I really like this one. This one's Patty Hatfield's uh, listing, so let's give a number for her. Okay, her number is 606-339-8794. All right, now we'll move back into Pike County, and the last three that we're going to talk about today are your listings. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, let's talk about a brand new listing in the Poly Edition. Yes, this brand new one is at 122 Beach Street, and this is one that, if you're familiar with Poly Edition, you may mm -hmm. not recognize it because over the last couple of years, it's had a complete facelift, and you're not even going to know what house it is if you're looking at the pictures. So. Right, and it's on, the, you've got the main front street is mm -hmm. Walnut Street, and then you turn around to the back side. So you get the privacy there. Mm -hmm. I love this neighborhood because you've got the Poly Bridge, which is right there, which is very popular for walking and biking but not for vehicle traffic. Mm -hmm. So you're limiting to what vehicle traffic comes through to only local traffic, but yet you're so close to Pikeville Commons and Thompson Road and you're shopping and dining. Uh, this is one of the, the best neighborhoods, in my opinion, uh, in Pikeville. Yeah, I really like this neighborhood and um, what I was talking about, you know, they've done a lot of updates to this house. Mm -hmm. May, the main thing they've done is this actually used to be almost a flat roof rubber roof house, which was very popular in the 1950s. They actually went in, they raised the pitch of the roof and mm -hmm. did a new metal roof on it. So again, it's completely changed the look of the house, added a really pretty front porch so you can enjoy the nice quiet neighborhood. So it's something to really see. And then it's got the two car carport mm -hmm. and it's got the fenced in yard with the privacy fencing already there. So a lot of the things that you would probably want to do when you moved into a home they're already done. Yes, exactly. And then this one comes with a little bit of flexibility. You have a oversized living room with plenty of room for mm -hmm. an office or anything like that in it. But then you also have a formal dining room that could easily be used as an office or a library or even a fourth bedroom if that's something that you need later. And, you know, with three bedrooms, one full bath, which is centrally located, mm -hmm. that's good. But then you've got spacious closets, which that's always something people look at the bedrooms and then they're like, okay, show me the closets. Exactly. Well, and the cool thing about this is the house has high ceilings all the way through it. They used to go all the way up mm -hmm. where that rubber roof was. So you've got ceilings in the closets that some of the closets are 10 foot tall and they use every bit of the space. Wow. This sounds like one that's just come on the market and people if you if you're in the market you probably want to go see this mm -hmm. one it's priced at 195 9 again on Beach Street so Jennifer let's give uh, your email address okay the email is jbrown at rbnw.com okay now on the next one let's go across the street basically <laughs> it's still in the poly edition but one street over this is the main front street Walnut Street yes and we've actually talked about this one before but I wanted to do it again because they've done a recent reduction on it wow. and the price on this for the square footage is amazing so if you're looking again in that area you might need a little bit more space than the last one then we'll just move you to this one absolutely and when you say square footage you're looking at more than 3100 square feet so that is spacious but it's the one that we've referred to before is the sprawling ranch yes and it's all one level and it is spread out over that a big part of that lot mm -hmm. it is and it's a kind of amazing because like you said 3100 square feet four bedrooms Two of those are master suites, so two of them have bathrooms and closets attached. And then you also have an additional room that's used as a library that could easily be a fifth bedroom mm -hmm. if you wanted it to be. Again, just tons of flexibility. Yeah, and on the outside, I mean, you're looking at an, an acre lot. Mm -hmm. In a neighborhood where usually what, lots are a quarter acre, a third of an acre maybe, you're getting an entire acre. So they, these people have bought multiple lots when they first built this house. Mm -hmm. And it shows when you're driving through that neighborhood because this lot, you've got a big front yard and then two back, you've got a big backyard, but it's divided into two separate fenced in areas. Yeah, so it's great if you have kids and pets or anything that you wanna keep separated because you can have the kids closer to the house. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, let pets go uh, farther out. You could open it all up. It's completely up to you. But where in Pike County do you get a one acre lot that's all usable. Yeah, one acre of flat, not just mm -hmm. in Pike County, in the city of Pikeville yeah. and in a neighborhood. 
Uh, so this is one definitely you want to look at. And both of these houses, this one and the last one, mm -hmm. your sign <clears throat> is in the yard. Mm -hmm. um, and they can see Red Run and Williams. Uh, and they can give you a call or Absolutely. shoot you an email. So let's give that Pikeville office number. That number is 606-437-2333. All right, now the last one that we're going to talk about is close to West Virginia, mm -hmm. really close. You're in South Williamson. Yes, this one is in South Williamson and this is again another brand new listing. And this is one, if you're familiar with South Williamson, you're gonna turn off 119 mm -hmm. coming from Pikeville or Belfry and you're gonna go um, left like you're going towards ARH, towards the hospital. Right. And then 4th Street will come up and you're gonna go to the top of the hill. And this is gonna be the house that you can actually see from down below. You can see the brick and the roof line, but that's where you're headed. Right, and then look at the view. I think, I'm glad you put that picture mm -hmm. of, of out of the deck. I mean, you overlook Williamson. It's <laughs> the whole South Williamson area. But like you said, this is the house you can see. It's brick uh, and it's huge. It's it is. almost <laughs> 2,700 square feet. And the really cool thing about this is they left, you really only have six or seven rooms, but they left the rooms very big. So you have really nice size bedrooms. Your living room, dining room, which I've, is the last picture that's showing, you can kind of tell how big it is. Mm -hmm. And then look at the size of the kitchen. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just massive room. So this is a great family home or a home to grow into. This is gonna be perfect. And when you say family, and it seems like everything we've talked about today, we say entertaining. Mm -hmm. Another great house for entertaining. Think about it, everybody's in, gathering around the kitchen, mm -hmm. but in warmer weather, you take everything out on that huge deck. So you've got inside and outside entertainment space with this home. Exactly, and you've got the big huge deck off the back, but then it also wraps around and you have a private deck off the master bedroom, which I didn't uh, include a picture, but it's another one, just a private deck that kind of gives you that privacy. You don't have as much as a view, mm -hmm. but which also means you have even more privacy over there. Yeah, but you wouldn't imagine the privacy that you have and mm -hmm. still say, I live in downtown South Williamson. <laughs> Um, so this one is great in the, the brick on the outside if you don't look at the price and you're looking at this house you're going to expect something a lot higher but we're going to tell you that price is $199.9 mm -hmm. so you're getting everything you're getting with this house for under $200,000. Yes that is a very good price on this house especially for the amount of square footage location and all that so if you're looking in that area it's definitely one to consider. And it's a brand new listing mm -hmm. like we talked about Everybody's listing right now. <laughs> so let's give your email address um, one more time. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. So speaking of these five listings, we've shown you two of those are brand new, mm -hmm. which is the theme of your real estate minute. So I'm gonna step out and let you talk about this competitive market. Are you considering listing your home? Now is the perfect time to get your home on the market because the warmer weather has potential buyers out looking for their new home. If you're planning to list, take the time to work on improving your curb appeal as buyers are out driving by properties. In addition, take the time to declutter and prepare your home for visitors. Speaking to a realtor is the most important step in the process because you will get accurate market information that will be used to price and market your property correctly. Our current market is more of a buyer's market than it has been, so now is the time to make sure your property is priced competitively. The agents of Ray Brown & Williams Real Estate would be happy to meet with you about listing your property and assisting you in finding a price that is most effective. Call one of our four offices to speak to an agent about setting up an appointment to look at your property. Our agents look forward to meeting with you. Thank you for watching our show. Please join us for the next one.